Hello, welcome to the Gourmet Pens channel. I am Aziza, aka Gourmet Pens, and today the pen we are going to be looking at is a Mont Blanc. It is not my pen. It has been discontinued, but there are still pieces available in several boutiques. And so if you really want one, you can find one. And so let us begin. The pen is the very lovely Mont Blanc Solitaire Le Grand Blue Hour. The name is very long, but that's okay. This is the pen. It's very pretty. I like the prettiness. There are reasons I would not purchase this pen for myself, but because I had access to it, I thought it'd be fun to just share it with you. So shall we just begin with the boring? The boring needful is the packaging. It's actually not that bad. One thing I can say about Mont Blanc is the packaging is sometimes okay in the special edition pens, like the the premium, like limited editions and the patron of the arts, those ones are much more fancy. I'm okay with this one. The box reflects the geometric design and the twilight hour colors. Inside you have the very, <clears throat> sorry, you have the standard Mont Blanc box with the little squishy bed. I actually like the squishy bed. It makes, it's just very simple. And you have your service guide. No one cares about the box. I'm literally gonna toss that out of the way so that we can look at the pen. Um, here's my paper. Let me just grab the pen. And I also have some other models of Mont Blanc that we can size compare with because it's interesting to me. It's interesting to me. So the, the Le Grand, it is the 146 size, which is also this pen. Here we have the 149 and we have a Mont Blanc M. I don't have a 145 or 144, those are smaller. The 146 is the one that I like best. The Blue Hour is based on the 146 size. So it is a 146. It's just that it's a little thicker with the body like around it. So if we look at the three here, and I mean, if we want to look at the M, we can, it doesn't really matter. These two are the same size. There is like a really small difference in terms of the thickness. It's a little thicker than the regular 146, but the real difference is that it has a metal section and the body is much heavier. So one of the reasons that I wouldn't buy this to, for myself is because it's a little bit heavy for me to use regularly. I did have a Moon Pearl from like years ago and I actually ended up selling it because I loved it but I found that as I wrote more and more I just couldn't really use the heavy pens as much so it was just time for it to go and that's okay it went to a good home somebody who loved it even more than I did I mean it was a beautiful pen it's just that it was just not suitable for my size of hand so this is the pen gonna get a little close up with it here does it sound good it's very pretty the Meisterstück Solitaire Blue Hour Le Grand introduces itself as a precious blue lacquered solitaire product with platinum coated fittings the magical hour between daylight and night the blue hour creates a smooth contrast and breathtaking mood which served as design inspiration the hexagon pattern on the handcrafted rhodium coated gold nib, uh, as well as on the barrel and cap, which you can see as I rotate it, reflects the refraction of lights and night traffic in urban cities. It's a very clean design, like there's not, it's not a complicated pen. Uh, the, the logo is resin, and as I said, the trimmings are platinum. 
you've got the center band, Mont Blanc Meisterstück, piston turning knob, which is also platinum. So the body is really, really cool. At first glance, you don't really notice it, but it follows the pattern of the box. So, I mean, if you look at the tri sorry, if you look at the triangles individually, you can see that at a first glance on the pen. But if you look and you look at the hexagon, it's kind of got a 3D effect on the box because of the layers of color. And the pen has that too. So I'm gonna zoom up real close and hopefully you'll be able to see it. It's really, really cool. It definitely has a 3D effect. Like it's just, it looks like each hexagon has like, is like layered, like built up. It's really pretty. And the lacquer over top makes it very smooth to the touch. So we have that. The section is metal. I don't really mind it. It just makes the pen a bit heavier, but it's not really slippery or anything. I actually find that the pen fits in my hand really well. Like it feels good in hand when you're just holding it. It's substantial, it's robust. Uh, it's well balanced, it doesn't post, nor should you ever post this pen. But for my hand, like it just, it sits really well in my hand. Just like looking at it like that. It doesn't look too big, it doesn't look too small. The section, I know some people hate metal sections. So if that's a deal breaker for you, there you go. Save yourself like 1500 US plus. I think these go for like 2000 Canadian right now. So there we go. And then if we look at the nib, I already mentioned that it has that geometric design. It is a medium nib. It is round uh, breather hole. It's single slit. It's got the Mont Blanc logo, 4810, all that kind of stuff. But I think the hexagon is really cool on it. It's, it's really simple, but it's just really interesting. And as I said, medium nib, uh, the Tipping, it's well, well tuned, well adjusted. So let's zoom in a little bit and let's do a little writing sample of this lovely pen. Ready? I'm ready. Uh, I'm gonna tilt my paper a little bit for my comfort, not yours. I'm using a blank paper, so I am already warning you my lines are gonna be all over the place. The thing is, I when I write with it for short periods, I'm like, man, this is such a good pen. Like, it's so nice and I could totally use this. But after a while, it gets tiring for my hand. So if you're, like, if you're worried about the weight of it, but you just want it for short writing periods, totally fine. You'll probably be fine with it. And if I wasn't weird and trying to keep my fountain pen collection to a reasonable amount. I'd probably have one just like sitting in my pen case for fun, but it's a pretty expensive pen to just have sitting around for short writing periods. So we have the Mont Blanc Meisterstück Le Grand. This is the standard medium nib. This is a factory nib. It's pretty much flawless. It's not over polished. It's smooth with like just a touch of feedback. Not at all scratchy or anything. If we look at the wetness, it's actually pretty wet. And the ink I'm using is obviously the matching ink, which is Mont Blanc Blue Hour Twilight. Blue, and in terms of line variation, it is an 18 karat nib. It does yield a little bit. It's like, it's definitely not a soft nib, but, oh, sorry. Um, it's pleasant. So you can squeeze out some wetness, which gives you like a broad, but certainly not something you should do constantly. And free weight because of the weight of the pen it's really well tuned so it writes really nice this is just free weight and if you are a reverse writer it does work it's a little sharp 
but great for you know finer drier line in a pinch I'm just gonna write for a second for for my enjoyment Very, very enjoyable nib. I quite like it. That's everything. That's all, folks. <sighs> Not my pen. But I hope you enjoyed this. I just wanted to share it with you. The Blue Hour ink is one of my favorites, so I just figured, why not share the pen with you? If you did enjoy, I would love it if you would like and subscribe and share and adore or not. You could just do some of those or none. And if you really feel like it, I'm on Patreon if you wish to support me. If you wish to make special requests or stuff, this is Aziza at Gourmet Pens. Here for all your inky and pen and writing needs. Wishing you a fabulous day, and I'd love to hear from you in the comments what you think of the pen, or the ink, or whatever, if you want to just say hi, or if you have a video request. Anything will do. Thank you for watching. I bid you adieu.